Hello everyone, this is Mr. Brain Junkie here, and today we'll be talking about a fantasy action film called The Turtle Island. Be ready for some spoilers ahead. Somewhere far away in the oceans, a gathering of people are traveling on the boat across the water. A man is boasting to the main character, Ma Yan, about the magical powers of his friend who's sitting beside him, claiming that they can save everyone on the boat even if it were to sink. This angers the person sitting across from their table, thinking that the people are causing a bad omen, and accusing them of being nothing more than scammers. The monk is greatly offended by this allegation, and begins demonstrating his power in front of everyone by conjuring flames everywhere and threatening to burn down the entire boat. Realizing that things are clearly out of control, Mayen jumps onto the sails and counters the magic by using his ice powers, eventually winning the energy clash and knocking the man onto the ground. The boss lady, who's responsible for the travels, comes to thank the man for saving her boat, and finds out that Mayen is actually looking for his missing brother Zhang, who went on a mission to find their master. The woman claims that she's never seen this man before in her life, but her facial expressions tell a different story. Their conversation is interrupted by the approaching storm, which causes the vessel to shake violently and tossing the people into the ocean. Everyone panics in fear as the water begins to consume their boat, but a glowing ball of light approaches the ship and morphs into what appears to be a fairy. The woman introduces herself as Yun and offers the people shelter on her island, before flying away and guiding the ship towards safety. After arriving onto what is known as the Turtle Island, the people are greeted by numerous beautiful women who are dancing for the pleasure of their guests. Yuan tells everyone that her master is currently away, but assures the men that they are welcome to stay as long as necessary. The people salute to their saviors while the women continue to dance alongside another fairy who calls herself Mystique. What they don't realize is that their sense of safety is only temporary, as the people near the beach encounter something that's truly terrifying. A giant sea monster rises out from the water as it towers over the men, and devours them without mercy while they scream in agony. On the other side, the party continues while the men seem to all be hypnotized by the beauty of the dancers, but Mayen is clearly not interested in all this performance as he only wants to find his brother. He leaves the company of his friend Hao and goes to their hostess Yun showing the woman the picture of his brother and asking if she's ever seen the man. Interestingly, the fairy clearly knows something about Mayan's brother, but decides to play ignorant just like the boss lady from before, giving the man no other choice but to leave. After the party is finished and everyone returned back to their rooms, Mayan continues to search around the area as he feels that something is not right. Suddenly, he hears a scream from afar and rushes forwards to investigate, only to see that one of the guests is trying to force himself upon the hostess. The woman tries to escape by using her wings, but the man pulls on her leg and smashes her onto the floor. Luckily, Mayan shows up just in time to save the girl and is able to easily fight off the man. The main character is able to avoid the attacks from the enemy as he catches Yun between his arms, and decides to take the woman away from this area instead of continuing the fight. Before the enemy can chase after them, a terrifying demon materializes in front of the man and begins consuming his soul, eventually absorbing the person into to the creature's body. Mayan takes the woman back to her room and begins examining her leg for any injuries, but Yun tries to offer the man money for saving her while preparing to strike him from behind. Surprisingly, Mayan refuses her offer right away, stating that he did not do this for money and causing the woman to pull back her attack. She begins testing the man again by offering some aggressive cuddling as a reward and prepares to strike him once more, but Mayan turns down the woman a second time, not wanting to pay for any child supports. The fairy finally withdraws her attack as she's impressed by the man's pure heart, and Mayan is able to leave unharmed. Unlike the main character, the monk from before is clearly more corrupt as he becomes hypnotized by the other fairy's beauty, but his fun quickly becomes a nightmare as the woman begins absorbing his soul, claiming that she'll use it as an offering for her master. It turns out that Yun and the other fairies are actually working for the demon who's the master of the island, and the monster strikes the woman down for failing to capture the main character's soul. Luckily, Mayan shows up on the beach to search for his brother, causing the demon to retreat immediately. The man quickly notices the woman on the ground and rushes in to help, only to see that the fairy is fading away as she appears to be gravely wounded. In order to save Yun's life, the man transfers his energy into the woman's mouth by the way of French kisses.
missing, eventually saving her life and making the fairy fall in love at the same time. It's very obvious that the woman wants more at this point, but the man denies her once again, refusing to become a simp. The next morning, Mayen is woken up by his friend who offers him some good news, as the man claims to have found his brother. They rush towards the location immediately and sees that Zen is unconscious and trapped inside a magic circle that prevents anyone from entering. Luckily, Mayen is able to use his powers to neutralize the ceiling technique and finally frees his brother from this terrible prison, but the man remains unconscious from his previous wounds. It turns out that Zen actually came to this island the same way that his brother did, and Mayen becomes furious at the boss lady for lying to him since the beginning. Their arguments are interrupted by a man who calls himself the White Sage, and he tells the people that their boat has apparently been stolen by thieves. They rush towards the beach immediately, only to see that all their belongings have been taken away, leaving them truly stranded on the island. With no other choice, they go back to Yun and ask the woman for help, but she assures the people that they are welcome to stay until her master finally returns. After everyone leaves the area, Mayen demands to know why the fairy lied to him about Zhang, but Yun promises the man that she would never purposely harm him. The main character has no choice but to take his brother back to his room, but the man quickly begins shouting in his dreams, telling everyone to run away from this place. It turns out that Zhang actually fought the demon on this island, but was quickly overpowered and eventually imprisoned by the monster. Suddenly, the man wakes up in shock and begins running away from this place, eventually making it onto the beach where he meets the other fairy. Instead of helping the man, the woman begins attacking him like he owes her alimony and eventually gains the upper hand while trying to control his mind. Mayen arrives on the beach as well, and upon seeing the main character, the woman purposely allows herself to be struck down by the man so that she appears to be the victim instead. Luckily, the white sage is able to stop Zen by knocking him out, preventing him from damaging anyone else. They take the man back to his room, and the sage begins transferring his energy into Zen in order to heal him, assuring Mai Yan that his brother should wake up very soon. At the same time, the boss lady is secretly going into a cave and eventually makes it into an ancient ceremonial ground where the black demon appears in front of her. It turns out that she has been working with the creature this whole time to trap the people on this island for their souls, and he demands that she brings him the main character right away. After some time, Zen finally wakes up from his coma, but begins acting strangely and refusing to answer any of his brother's questions. Their conversation is interrupted when the boss lady rushes in to tell them a good news, and claims that the master of the island has returned and offers them a boat for sailing home. She brings the brothers to the entrance of a cave and tells them that everyone is waiting for them on the other side, but as they journey further onto the trail, Mayen begins to realize that something is wrong. Suddenly, Zen takes out his sword and points it towards his brother, while the man's eyes begins to glow red. Zhang attacks viciously by using his weapon, while Mai Yan desperately tries to defend for his life, but the main character refuses to harm his brother, giving Zhang the chance to retaliate and knocks the man onto the sculptures. The brother continues to attack with the intention to kill, as Mai Yan dodges the onslaught by using his magic, eventually managing to grab onto the sword while he desperately tries to wake the man up. However, his efforts were useless as the opponent begins countering right away, forcing Mai Yan to finally strike at Zhang and pushing out the evil spirit inside his brother, which turns out to be the soul-sucking demon. The creature attacks the main character right away and tries to consume his soul, but Mayan is able to fend off the attack temporarily by using his aura, and takes out the Jade of Sealing to trap the enemy inside a barrier. Not knowing how long the magic will last, Mayan takes his brother and escapes right away. At the same time, the boss lady is trying to hunt down even more people for her master, and encounters Mayan's friend Hao, who immediately senses danger coming from the water. Woman. She attacks the man right away, but before she can finish the kill, Mai Yan shows up to rescue his friend while forcing the boss lady to retreat. The main character chases after the woman immediately, eventually arriving onto her new vessel that was granted by her master. A fight quickly breaks out between the two, but the woman is no match for Mai Yan, who grabs onto her by using his rope and ties her upside down like in Fifty Shades of Grey. Before he's able to interrogate her for the truth, a vial of potion drops out from the boss lady and spills outside, causing the 
the giant sea monster to burst out from the ocean as it roars furiously at the humans. The creature opens its mouth and charges at the woman, eventually swallowing her in a single bite. The enemy turns the attention towards Mai Yan as well and tries to go after the man, but he's pulled away just in time from the monster's jaw while the creature destroys everything in sight. It turns out that Yun has chosen to help the main character by betraying her master, and she flies into the air to confront the giant creature. The fairy summons a bow from her hands and generates a powerful shot before shooting it at the sea monster and causing it to scream in pain. She then conjures numerous projectiles by using her magic and fires them continuously at the enemy's head, but the attacks are useless against the monster as the animal breaks free and charges quickly at the woman. Luckily, Mayan is able to catch her just in time and push her away from the vicious attack as the creature knocks the man backwards using tremendous force, causing him to fall into the water. The main character eventually sinks to the bottom of the ocean, but his spirit is quickly taken out from his body when the man encounters a tombstone that's capable of speaking. The entity reveals himself to be the master that Zhang was looking for, who came to this island to stop the demon that was stealing innocent souls and controlling the giant sea monster by using a powerful object known as the dragon's orb. Unfortunately, the master was killed and thrown into the ocean, but he believes that there is a chance of winning if Mai Yan was to help. The entity transfers all his power into the main character while telling the man that he must find and destroy the dragon's orb, which will free the colossal creature and weaken the demon, giving him the only chance to win against the enemy. On the other side, Yun has found Mai Yan's brother alongside Hao and tells them with sadness that the main character has died, causing Zen to scream in agony. Suddenly, a man launches out from the ocean and lands in front of the group, causing the people to stare in shock as they realize that their friend is still alive. They go back to the mansion and Mai Yan explains everything to the people, but finds out that even Yun has never seen the dragon's orb. With no other choice, the main character decides that they have to fight the giant sea creature, as the monster is the only link that they have towards the demon. In order to maximize their chances, Mai Yan decides to recruit the white sage for help, who was able to convince all the passengers to join their fight as well. They head towards the beach and wait carefully to ambush the sea creature, while Yun gives Mai Yan the potion that's capable of summoning the beast. The man takes the item and spills it onto the ground, causing large waves to form in the ocean as the massive creature rises out from the water and roars furiously at the people. Everyone begins shooting their weapons at the monster, but their attacks appear to be extremely ineffective. Mai Yan quickly takes the sealing jade and launches a magical barrier at the creature, trapping it in place while the monster screams in fury. Just when the people think that they have won, the enemy manages to break out from the sealing technique and begins charging at everyone. The fighters try to push back the monster by using their magic, but the giant turtle continues towards land and smashes the people into pieces while devouring them in a single bite. Mai Yan tries to finish the fight by jumping into the air and charging up all his energy, eventually landing on the enemy's head and piercing the monster with his sword. However, the creature's defense is too great, allowing it to throw the man onto the ground using tremendous force. Zhang tries to lure the monster away from his brother, but gets knocked away easily by the giant turtle. The creature continues to unleash its rampage at the people, grabbing onto them and throwing the man into the ocean. Seeing that Mai Yan is losing the battle, the white sage tells the man to give him the sealing jade so that he may enhance the object's power. The main character throws the item towards the ally, but upon receiving the artifact, the man begins laughing maniacally while his eyes turn black, causing Mai Yan to realize that he's been tricked. The white sage roars in fury and charges forwards at the main character, knocking the man backwards and striking the hero continuously by using his weapon. Luckily, Mai Yan is able to counter the attacks quickly and push the enemy back, demonstrating that their powers are equally matched. The white sage turns back into his true form and levitates onto the giant turtle, revealing that he was the black demon this whole time. The enemy declares that he'll consume all their souls and begins attacking the people by launching numerous projectiles in blinding speed. The three try to fight back against the attacks, but the combined power of the enemies are too great as they're forced into a corner by the sheer energy of the giant turtle. The demon is quickly able to overpower the group as the sea monster unleashes all its power, creating a massive shockwave and sending the people flying backwards onto the ground. The giant monster begins absorbing everything nearby and lifting the two men into the air, trying to devour them in the process. Luckily, Yun is able to grab onto her friends while pulling them back away from the massive creature. The woman tries to stop the giant turtle by reminding the creature that it's under the demon's control and telling it to break free from its master. Surprisingly, the fairy is able to reawaken the massive turtle for just a moment as it screams in agony and reveals that the dragon orb is actually located in one of its eyes. 
Ma Yan sees this and launches at the creature immediately, while the demon tries to stop the attack, but Yun is able to interfere just in time. The man is able to stab the creature right in the eye which breaks apart the dragon's orb and frees the giant turtle, but not before the demon lands a final attack on the woman, knocking her onto the ground and causing her to spit out blood. The massive creature regains consciousness and devours the demon in a single bite, while Ma Yan rushes towards the fairy who's fatally wounded from the fight. The man refuses to leave the woman to die and tries to save her, but Yun tells the main character that it's too late. The fairy wants the man to leave this island and live on for both of them, promising that she'll find him again in the next life, before finally falling unconscious in the man's arms. The woman begins disappearing as her body is turned into spectrums of light, causing Ma Yan to scream in tears as he watches her vanish into nothingness. The giant turtle thanks the people for saving its life by promising to bring the heroes back to their homes, while Ma Yan sits on the creature in silence, reminiscing about the woman that he loved. So what do you guys think about this movie? Let me know in the comments below. And if you like my videos, please press like and subscribe for more. I'll see you guys next time.